what is up everybody welcome back to NBA live 16 dynasty mode here's a standings update we are sitting pretty at the fourth seed and if you're a Bulls fan in real life honestly we're probably not gonna make the playoffs sitting at outside at the ninth seed right now in real life so if you're a Bulls fan go ahead and come to this channel we're gonna make the playoffs and we can live real life through this game because I am upset in real life that the Bulls are going to miss this year. It doesn't look too good with only 8 games left. Hopefully we make it. Hopefully a miracle happens. But at this point, man, it's pretty sad as a Bulls fan. Because our team is way, way better than where, we, where we're at right now as a team. Regardless, though, we're going up against the Miami Heat in NBA Live 16. And we have similar records. Right now we're both 13 and 10. Both of these teams looking for their 14th win. So what that means, 13 and 10, that means there's only 6 games left in this season. Remember, we're only playing 10, 29 games this season. So we are right at the playoffs. 6 more games. Every win matters. We want to get ourselves a good position and go up against an easier opponent. Because right now we would be going up against the Miami Heat in the playoffs. And if this game is any indication of how it would go, man, this was a really close game. Jimmy Butler cleaning up the glass one more time on that one. He had a great first quarter, a great first half. He would disappear in the second half, unfortunately. However, Chris Bosh, man, he is unstoppable in this game. If you guys played against the Miami Heat, you guys already know what I mean. Knocking down three-pointers, mid-range jump shots, getting inside. He was just impossible to stop. Mike Dunleavy knocking down a three-pointer right there to tie the game back up by 21. You can see the lead jumping back and forth. They up, they're up by two. We're up by two. It's a tie game. It was one of those games where we are just bouncing back and forth. Derrick Rose finding Joakim Noah on the nice alley -oop pass. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. Derrick Rose one more time. This time finishing nicely with the left hand, avoiding the contact to make it a two-point game. Four-point game once again. And Tony Snell on the fast break, getting the contact, getting the and one bucket. Surprisingly, they called a foul on that one. But look at Derrick Rose doing the same exact thing. Getting another and one, 31 to 31. It is a tie game once again. One minute to go in this second quarter. Derrick Rose, I'm trying to create with him the whole game. Honestly, I just felt like he was going off. And he was. He missed maybe two shots the whole game. This guy was going crazy. Miro Titch for three. Knocking down a huge three-pointer before the end of the first half. Jumping into the third quarter, we only up by three points. And the Miami Heat are on a fast break, finding Chris Bosch for a nice little layup right there to make it a one-point game. So here come the Miami Heat once again. Luol Deng with the three-pointer to put the Miami Heat up by two points. The Miami Heat would go up by four points, but Derrick Rose pulling up from the free throw line, knocking down the jumper right there. I'm telling you he was carrying us, making sure that the Miami Heat did not get too far with their lead. And it was beautiful basketball from Derrick Rose. Here he is one more time. Corner three-pointer is good. He's not even a great three-point shooter. However, he was so on this game, it just did not matter. 48 to 47. Jimmy Butler looking to give us the lead. And finally, we take the lead back from the Miami Heat. We go up by one point. Luol Deng gets the isolation, gets to the rim, and finishes strong to put the Miami Heat right back up. So now the Miami Heat up. But we're back up right there on that Jimmy Butler. Huge slam right there. Third quarter coming to an end. And we are looking to take the lead just before it comes to the end. And Taj Gibson follows through with a nice layup there to give us the lead. Now Paul Gasol, honestly, he just did not have a good game. He had a bad shooting night. But finally gets a bucket to go right there. Tony Snell, the pull up is off the offensive rebound by Taj Gibson and the bucket on the inside. Now we have not heard from Taj Gibson literally the whole game, but he came up with a few clutch rebounds in the fourth quarter. Still up by three points. Mick Dermott getting his first bucket of the game. His only shot of the game and it is good for three points. Six point game. Gibson got the ball on the inside. However, he's going to kick it back out to Dunleavy for the three-pointer who misses. But we are all about second chances. And Dunleavy gets that second chance. A lower percentage, but it goes in. Not complaining here. We are up by seven points in the Miami Heat. are looking to make a run. And they do. They eventually do the Miami Heat. We cut the lead down to five points. But Derrick Rose, who has been unstoppable the whole game, working with Paul Gasol on the pick and roll, crossing over. Weird shot right there getting the spin move and the layup and the ins on the inside 
It works though. Derrick Rose with a nice clutch bucket right there. Still a five point game. Hassan Whiteside is going to cut to the rim and they find him for an easy bucket. It's a three point game just like that. So now we got to get a clutch bucket and we go to the man Derrick Rose. They just did not even stop him on that play. He has over 20 points at this point and he would not stop. Jimmy Baller gets the dagger and one right there. We can call that one the dagger, but the Miami Heat, uh, once again, they would just not go away. They would make it a three-point game once again. Derrick Rose would go on, and he would knock down two free throws because he would get fouled. Now, the Miami Heat only have 20 seconds left, less than, less than 20 seconds left, and they take a three-pointer. They would miss it. Paul Gasol, once again, grabbing this rebound right here, and they would foul him. He would go on to the line. He would knock down both free throws, and it would be a little bit too late for the Miami Heat to make one more run. Of course, they just have to knock down one more shot, but that is going to be it. We win this game going to 14-10 and 10 on the season, so that is quite the improvement that we made early on. We're at like 9-8, and eight. so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.